gonna check out Garfield Kart. Uh, I picked this up for a dollar. I'm not even joking. I haven't really heard much about this game at all, so we'll see how it goes. This kind of reminds me of Simpsons Hit and Run a little. <laughs> nice zigzagging, okay. Oh. Wait, why is there no sound of a motor engine? There's no coin sounds either? What? <laughs> there's no... There's no sound of a car engine, it's just silent. It's like Garfield's driving an electric car. I mean, damn, pretty... Pretty modern. Did we need a racing game with Garfield in it? Uh, I'm not sure we did. But it's so weird that there's no car noise though. Like, there's drifting sounds. It's like they didn't have the budget to add the sound of a car. So we got Garfield. <laughs> oh no, that's the sound of John. That's it, just Garfield and John so far. I mean, there's other characters, but you know what? We'll go with the classic lasagna cat. Wait, who, wait, excuse me, who was that? Oh, that's Liz. I you know. Oh, now there's car sounds. Okay, okay, this isn't that bad. This is fine. There's sounds of a motor vehicle. Ow. Also, the sounds Garfield makes, that just doesn't sound like Garfield to me. Like, Garfield's always been like, oh, I talk a little like this. You know? Just lazy and... I have a voice like this. Or, uh, it's Bill Murray. This Garfield just doesn't sound right. Double lasagna, yes! You know, I don't- I love kart races. I played them a lot growing up, but like... They're definitely the most infuriating genre for me. Especially if it's modern day Mario Kart where like there's combat mechanics. I mean, don't get me wrong, that, that makes it interesting, right? But it sucks when you're in the first place doing well and then you just get hit with a barrage of different stuff and then it's gone. It doesn't appear like there's something like that in this. At least not yet. Gar Gorfoiled wins with eight points. Whoop, whoop. I mean, I'm glad I, I just paid a dollar for this. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad, but like... I think if I would have gotten this as a kid, I, I would be happy with it. Because I did like Garfield growing up. They had, for some reason, Garfield comic books in our library, and I guess that's how I got into it. You know, it's, it's, I like things that the character is a bit of a sarcastic ass. I mean, I don't know if that the comic's still going, but it's definitely been going for over 20 years at some point. So at a certain point, you've seen everything Garfield has to offer. I think the only part about this that just doesn't gel with me right now. The physics feel a bit weird, but you get used to it. It just feels like a mobile game. But Garfield's voice just it's, it's weird. It just doesn't sound like Garfield. Oh, come on! All right. Uh, this is... I'm getting them classic Mario vibe. Or like Crash Team Racing. All right, third. That's fine. I'll take third. I'm still trying to figure out who most of these characters are. You also suck at Mario Kart, mostly because of the annoying turning. See, I was alright at Mario Kart, but I think the point in time where... I guess... It's not so much sucking, it's just my luck is chaotic and other people... Just know how to play it better, but, um... When it just became, like, more of a... John! Where it became... Just more of a skirmish, and it's kind of like... You could be in first place, and then just get absolutely destroyed at any given point. As opposed to the version that I played growing up, like, um, I played the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64 versions, and the N64 version, I mean, that would happen, but not to the point that it happens in, like, the Switch version. I think the, ah! I think the saddest part about Mario Kart for me is I can't play as Wario. I would love to play as Warrior, but heavy races just don't gel with me. Whoop whoop! Garfield's classic uh, catchphrase. Whoop whoop! I love the comic strip where, like, John walks into a room and uh, says something about how miserable his dating life is, and then Garfield just turns around and goes, Whoop whoop! Classic comic. So, the banana peel in this game is a spring. Why? 
I mean, I, I get it. Like, you have to drop a trap behind you, but why a spring of all things? Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Oh, no, I'm, drop I'm dropping. Oh, apparently I'm still number one. Gorfoiled is still number one. Classic Gorfoiled. I just find it interesting, like, what would have... What would have been the catalyst for them to go, you know what? We need some competition to the Mario Kart genre. The fact that we're calling it the Mario Kart genre shows that there's a problem in the first place. We need another kart racer. Okay, we need to throw our strongest IP at it. What have we got? Well, we got Garfield. How about we make a kart racer about Garfield? Because Garfield is known for its deep lore and, uh, you know, various locations that are classic in the Garfield universe. Like, you know, the, the city where there's uh, a gigantic statue of Garfield for some reason. And, you know, well, you've got so many characters in Garfield. Like, you've got Garfield, you've got John, you've got Odie, you've got Normal, you've got Liz. Okay, who else have we got? Uh. Uh. Uh, that cat, that, that other cat, uh, the, the brown cat that made, like, a, a cameo in a comic strip once. We can use him. What else have we got? Well, what if we gave Liz, like, a, a marching band hat? Even though she's a vet, let's give her a marching band hat. I don't understand half these weapons, like, half of them, okay. Half of them you just drop behind you like the banana peel, I guess. Okay, the gem is a bomb. Alright, got it. The magic wand is like a faster shell. A pillow is so I can put someone out of their misery, I mean... <laughs> never mind. Oh, that is just dangerous. You have a weapon that makes someone fall asleep at the wheel. That is scary. I think I just killed John. But see this- ah! No! Ah, John, you ass! It's like ink. No, no, no. It makes the character fall asleep. Like, I imagine you can't control. I'm, I've lost my first place. I'm second. I'm dead! John just messed me up. Alright, we'll play as... That's, that's classic John right there as well. I mean, look, I played my knockoff kart races growing up, and they were quite fun. Like, there was one called Street Racer that they had on PlayStation. And as janky as that was, I did enjoy that one. So I'm not one to be like, well, this isn't Mario Kart, I'm not gonna play it. However, just as someone that did enjoy Garfield a little, thematically, this is this is killing me. <laughs> the only item that makes somewhat sense is lasagna. But even then, not really. Like, eating a whole pan of lasagna makes you go fast. I mean, maybe for Garfield, but everyone else, like, no one... No one really enjoys it as much. Alright, like, take this item, a perfume bottle. If you were to see this pop up, what do you think this item does? Uh, so, perfume bottle is like the superstar. Because of course it is. Perfume bottle is the superstar. I don't... Like, why? It's not even like the superstar. Like, what does it even do? It just... It seems like it is, but it's not. <laughs> It didn't send anyone off course. Oh, damn out! Just because it's Garfield Kart doesn't mean I won't get angry at it. Drift door. That was a bad drift. <laughs> Just the controls. Oh, man. Okay, so that's the blue shell right there. I think. Yeah, lasagna is the mushroom. Oh, no. I don't like how John handles. But we continue nonetheless. Oh yeah, starting boost. But I mean, if you want a kart racer on PC that is actually decent, I'm I'm amazed that um, this game hasn't had more popularity. But the Sonic uh, Racing series on on PC is actually really good. Like it's pretty comparable. And whilst it's not quite the same thing, it has its own mechanics and everything. I mean, if you're looking for a kart racer on PC, it's decent. It's just, I feel like the genre just hasn't really been gigantic on uh, PC. It's, it's only really been a console thing. I'm kind of using this as a test bed as well, because I would love to play 
um, Crash Team Racing through story mode again, but I just... I might be looking at it through a nostalgia lens, because I do remember that game bringing me suffering. Even though I did enjoy it, I do remember getting angry at that game as a kid. Ugh! The thing is, I don't even remember what John sounds like in the cartoon or in the movies. I just remember Garfield. And apparently Chris Pratt is going to play Garfield next. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. The magic one makes you swap places. All right, that's kind of... That's a pretty distinct item. Okay, that's probably the only unique thing that I've been like, all right, that's kind of cool. If you can hit the skill shot, then it rewards you by swapping places. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, I fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> I was doing so well! <laughs> ah! The spring! <laughs> Why a spring? Why a spring? It doesn't make any sense. Is it- is it pretty much- oh no, we can't use a banana peel. Who the- who is- who is Harry? Who is Harry? Oh, I forgot about Squeak. Squeak the mouse, but who the- who- who's Harry? Harry Garfield. No, wait. Harry the cat Garfield. What the heck? Gary... Oh, sorry. Harry the cat is a major anti-hero of Garfield comic strips. He is a stray alley cat. In most of his appearances, Harry is shown as an antagonist. What the... This is mental. <laughs> they... They designed... They designed a villain for Garfield? Uh, yeah, an anti-hero for, for the Garfield comic strip, like what? I guess I never got up to the point where that character was introduced. This must be a recent thing. This has to be a recent thing. Or maybe I just don't remember it. I mean, I guess at a certain point... Like, you know, Garfield can only throw a passer at John so many times before it starts getting stale. Yeah, this... Oh, I learned something today. Skill shot! Ah, oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Hey, listen, I've already got my money's worth. Ah, we're away! <laughs> Wait, what is this puzzle piece? Okay, accident. But now I'm so far back behind. Like, there's, there's no way I've got this. It's gonna take, like, 50 lasagna to get back up to the top. Oh, maybe not. Smother! Because <laughs> I went for that puzzle piece. But, like, you have... Basically, you have to throw your race to get that puzzle piece. There's no way you can get that. Without being like, nah, I'm just gonna come last. Remember... Remember the comic strip where they go to Egypt? And, you know, Garfield sees the Great Sphinx and is scared of it. And then realizes that cats were worshipped and, you know, gets uh, a little too... A little too overzealous and then tries to take over Egypt. You dick! He blocked me. I'm a very calm driver. I, I don't do road rage, but... There's something about kart races that just absolutely infuriates me! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, there's three puzzle pieces per stage. I mean, look, cool mechanic, but I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not about that life. Dude, that boost, it kind of throws you off angle, like, a little bit. Yep, excellent. An exploding diamond. <laughs> the sound effects just seem so random. Yeah! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Go to sleep, all of you, at once. Oh, yes! That was like a clutch move. Don't, please, no! Just... Please. <laughs> no! <laughs> no!
You'll have to excuse the noise I just made, but you see, I was just unbelievably angry. <laughs> Fucking absolutely livid. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that. After that move, like, that was such a gamer moment. But see, just, this just makes me feel worse that I'm off to the side here. Like, I'd rather not be included in the podium ceremony because it just looks like... I'm like, no, I, des I deserve acknowledgement. I must be placed here, even though I, I didn't win. I guess the anti-hero won. 